Hello folks and welcome to Ravenport 22 and yep yeah, this is going to be ooh, a to who let's play series and we're always got hit by the train and yeah I've got to be careful because we're only borrowing this tractor here to drop off our equipment so yeah we're on Ravenport full yeah full about doing the let's play series on this map when it first announced and for at least for now, I'm going to say yes, we will do a Let's Play series on this map, so what is the premises behind the map? Fairness is actually relatively simple, so after making tons of money across Europe, we should figure out where we're going, we could go down here, and that will take us to our starting area, which is slightly different compared to the standard version of this map, that's because we started off with a debt, so if we go to our finances, we've got half a million pounds in debt, we've got 225 grand there because we paid about 200 grand for the field, and we have to pay some money to borrow this tractor temporarily to get our equipment, well I'll say our equipment, so if you have a look, we've got our Canam buggy cart, got our XJ Cummins engine little pickup, and we've got our Honda CBR, CBR, not CBR, I wish it was a CBR, but no, it's a CRF450 or so. So yeah, let's go and get this cracking on, and yeah, so we've got some rules, we're on, at the moment, normal economy however I may reduce that down to hard as we go along if I'm thinking we're progressing too quickly in that then yes I will so yeah this is going to be a proper challenge for me and the rules are we cannot lease for the first year at least so not until August of next year and a condition of leasing is we need to pay off most of our loan off, so at least 250 grand needs to be paid off, so we need to be smart with our money, we don't have a tractor. Yes, the can -Am does have a three point linkage system, but that's only for like light duty transporting traders and that, so I don't want to whack on a cultivator onto the back of that, because to be honest, I don't think it's got the weight on it, so Let's take this down to the main farm, get this returned, and then we'll get cracking on because we do have some contracts we've accepted on Cornet. So, yeah, contracts. I won't be doing too many contracts because that's an easy way to make money in that. So, let's head down to the farm, get everything unloaded, sort away, and then, yeah, let's go and figure out a battle plan for this because. Yeah, it is going to be hard for me. It's like more harder than survival challenge, just put it that way. Even I ain't really much of a comparison, but anyways. And there we go, as we're charging down the hill. So, yep, yeah, I've come up with a plan. We do have three fields ready to harvest. We've got a massive contract on field eight to harvest. And that is what 20 grand yeah 25 grand compared because of the size of the field is a bit yeah i was more hoping for 50 grand but i guess that's just the local economy say a farming's a farmer's even so yeah we need to be careful of our boundaries so we do share with right off access with the owner of field 19 so yeah, basically where our silo is, everything to the left of that is not our property, so... So yeah, we've got silo, thankfully. We've got that storage area over there. We do have some chicken pens, but I am going to hold off on that for the time being. Just to make it a bit more difficult for myself, so... So yeah, we've got our barns. And we've got our house, so... Alright, so enough 
talking around. Let's get these all unloaded. So, sort of with our Honda here. So, and yeah, this is a good old little favourite of mine. Nope. Let's get that proper lowered. And yeah, I just do love sand it is. Like, a little scrambler in a bike, and a little dirt bike. Push off to stand it is quite difficult. Ooh, yeah. That's a good thing about Japanese motorcycles is once they get going, they are good. So next we'll come off to here. And for now we'll still park up over here. Yes, we do have barns in that. But yeah, so our first goal is gonna be get these free fields harvested. And also a bather, so we need to figure out something that can do harvesting and bathing for just 225 grand. So the first look is in the used market, and there is a sprayer for 28 grand. You could do with both a fertilizer and herbicide sprayer, but at the moment we just need something to do the job we need so however the rule is we can't lease however we can buy and sell within the same month or is that just a bit cheaty I'm not sure the rules will slightly adapt as we go along so yeah normal horses ain't gonna be the solution we do have some cracking deals so Hopefully we can work up to a 9240 or a 9250 at some point. And just, yeah, like, ooh, 100 grand for some of these John Deere's and that. 150 grand. Half a mil for the Lexian. But yeah, so I'm thinking it's going to be the Axle Flows or the Forstert E516. So, because how much is that going to be? So... 70 grand. Oh, yeah, also need a trailer as well. So, actually, let's, let's put some pretty in reason. So, maximum engines and that. So, that is 73,500 pounds. Also, I've got an idea. We'll need the large auger. So, 74,600. So I think I've got this figured out, so yeah, so actually you know what, let's go and purchase everything now, so sort of with the combine, so we want the axle flow four wheel drive, I think four wheel drive is going to be key, uh, I'm not too fast on extensions and that, if you have to empty it a bit more often, so be it. Yes. Wheels. Nope. So yeah, we'll purchase that. Next we need a header and usually we're looking at around yeah, maybe a six or seven meter header. However, because we've got big fields to work on potentially down the road, I'm going to take a gamble and go with a nine meter header so I want you six grand for the header traders so we've got money left we will splash that out next we need a tractor so we're gonna go with the white field boss series 3 big engine can we okay so I don't think, yeah, this is, ooh, ah, uh, chunkier front tires, that's an extra six grand, so, you know what, screw it, we'll go with BKTs, because we do need that traction, okay, 68 grand, we need a bader, so, go to our baders, and, please say I've got something decent, so, uh, ouch. Has to be one of these then, because yep, 30 grand, 57 grand. What about 
base game wise go with baby bells but that's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with so fair enough let's go with that so 30 grand for that next we'll need a cultivator and I'm thinking rather basic so Oof. six meters a stick with that and then lastly we'll need a planter or a cedar in that so Oof. 25 grand that's, that's gonna be over money gone that's gonna be the problem okay you know what let's stick with grains so get the lizard error seam and yeah, just do some little configurations if we can. So that is seventeen thousand and eight hundred pounds. That leaves us with twelve grand left. So could we look at rollers potentially or mulchers? Actually, no. We need to focus on a fertilizer spreader. And oh, eesh. we don't have enough money. But if we do those contracts. And I've just realised we need a front loader for the bells and that. And the trailer as well, so... Oh no, don't... Oof. One and a half grand for a... One of those. Please tell me the front loaders aren't going to be stupidly priced. Okay, it's going to take up a lot of our money, so... Let's just go with that. And then, yeah, I'll get everything else set up. We'll head on the bike, and yeah, like literally, this has been super tight with the money white, so but yeah, once we get around, back into gear, second, third, fourth, and we're off. Just hear that baby roar. So yeah, then we head to the deer ship, get everything sorted, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. So after a bit of peddling around, I had to return the drill. Luckily, we was able to return it before the store made the delivery, so I got a full refund back. Because yeah, we needed a trader, needed so we've got bell spikes here. We've got a cheap weight on the back, a 1500 kilogram weight. And yeah, I bought this. This is Lizard Gravity Wagon. I can't remember who this is by, but I'll leave all the mods I'm using in the description down below. So if you want to use, but yeah, I think we have a look. So go to our own equipment. So yeah, it is just the gravity wagon and for just 11 grand we got 26 thousand liters and yeah I don't think this is going to be quite enough for the header trailer because we need yep one of these we're literally a couple of hundred pounds short but you know what I am fine with that so we need money desperately, so I'm going to do the harvesting contracts. We've politely declined field 7 and took on a contract for field 14. And I'm pretty sure that is wheat. Yep, that is a wheat contract. But so we need to head up here, up the road, past the animal dealership, and into the field. And there are some key choke points. Hopefully we can get away with this. And I'm just hoping to hit a train as well, so... Ooh. Just going to have to lower this a little bit so we can actually see where we're going. But yeah, I am excited, so... Let's get to the field, and yeah. Ooh. This is going to be a problem. Cars, so... 
I'm going to have to do like sneaking around between the trees on the right, the cliffs on the hillside to our left, and to the cars in front of us. So let's hopefully we make it to the field in one piece. Oof, it is super narrow here, like got lamps and yeah, just <laughs> looking. I don't want to hear anything. Because we don't have the money to replace this, that's the thing. Uh, but, phew. Bit of gibberish there by me, so. Go and lower this. Unfold the combine. Obviously, we can't get any straw from this. Come on, unfold. Yes, canoe though. And yeah, can't get canoe straw on this map. But yeah, we've got a 9 meter head around. I think, to be honest, that is a good thing to start off with. I was very concerned about the horsepower. Because essentially you need like a 400 horsepower engine, and this is a 300 horsepower engine, so... Let's put our lights on. I just want to put the times up to times 3. At the moment we're on one day mumps, but I'll we'll go up to two day mumps. Just because going forward, we're going to be needing to do a lot of stuff and we're running with seasons. We're not running precision farming. Turn the beacons off. And just, yeah, like, this challenge is going to adapt as we go along. If we're making it too easy for ourselves, we'll restrict ourselves, but yeah, unfortunately, we're starting off with a good payday with doing this harvesting contract. And this will take a while. And actually, you know what? For just this episode, we'll get this field done at normal speed. But from September onwards, we will go and do 2 day months at at least times 3, maybe times 5 speed even. Yeah, if you've got any ideas, feel free to comment down below, but... Yeah, this is going to take a while to do. Because, yep, if you don't notice, this is a huge field, so... Have we done 1% yet? We've barely done 1%, so... And, yeah, this is going to the ranch, so... Where is that? Is that up on the hills, I think, so... Down here and up, so... Thankfully, it's not too far away. But the problem's going to be with holding it. Can either of our st stuff do it? Like, I think at least worst case scenario, our pickup should be able to do it. But it's got a bit of a tweet. A bit of a skunk work, 600 horsepower engine or something in it. And even heck it, our Can Am, that's a bit of a skunk work model. Of 400 miles, not 400 miles an hour, a wish. Uh, but you always land speed record, I think. But yeah, 400 horsepower, so. But yeah, so we're cracking on with this fine. Let's get the rest of this done. And then we'll reconvene once we fill up our three cars. <laughs>
but we do have a full card and I'm glad I have found this model. I'd like to go back on the hills, but so yeah, glad we got this because we've only done 16% of the contract, so we we'll need another five loads, or another four loads after this to get the contract completed. tractor is going back and I'm not I'm wearing gear and it's pulling it back so oh this is gonna be fun we so need a four-wheel drive tractor and I think fortunately we got front loader and a bell spike so that adds a little bit of extra weight so this has got to go to the ranch and yeah and that's a I'll say it was a steep hill at ranch, but it is steep enough, so I'm just gonna try to keep it in high revs as much as possible. Or to avoid going to sixth gear unless we have to. Okay, we hit the revs into there, so there we go, we're at top speed now with high revs. And the most important thing now is conserve this momentum, so Please, for the love of the Lord, do not come down barriers. It has been, what, perhaps since Silver Run Forest that we'll have to deal with one of those, so... Oh no, we're losing speed. Oh no, come on, don't. Damn shift. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ah, yeah, we need to turn right. Oh no, keep it going. Oh, actually, I'm not sure where we're going. So, yep, yeah, keep it going, and then bear right. So, we've dropped down to 11 miles an hour. Thankfully, we've got one car behind us at the moment. But yeah, so we do have enough horsepower to pull this. And I'm glad we went with the upgraded engine. Like, started off with, what was it? Yeah, 225 grand. Yep, yeah, I could be a bit more conservative now. Get a lesser combine harvester and could have got away with that, like this is not the way a high plan on starting the series with doing the big biggest field on the map to have a kickstart with our series here, but hey, it's one of those things that will kick us off, so because yeah, 25 grand plus maybe a grand or two for the extra crop oh no, we are proper struggling here yeah, we do need a four-wheel drive tractor at some point. And that's thing, we're not on vintage survival or anything like that, so we can get away with using any gear and that. We're not following a set gear series. That'll be for maybe our planes or something like that down the road. Alright, it says it's here, but I can't see a trigger point. So I'm just going to slow it down somewhere here. So we go off the canoe So that is, yeah, a fifth transported, so oh yeah, I've got a lot more work to do, so rather than you folks have to watch me struggle, I'm going to continue on with the harvesting. And then, yeah, that will be definitely another hour or so before we're done, so yeah. Let me get this finished off, and then I'll see you folks once we're done with this contract. All the contracts completed. We've got one more left to do. So yeah, I just thought, heck it, we will just get these contracts done. So let's go and sell what we have here. And yeah, we're only getting a little bit from this contract here. Yeah. So 1300 quid extra crop from a free grand contract. If that was on easy economy, it'd be a lot harder than that. So Overall, I can't complain, and 
right, what I would do is I'm going to get someone to take this back to the farm. Whilst we're here at the store, we've got a combine dropped back. And yeah, so we've got an apple ahead of trade for it. And also we put that 10,000 in your tanker or the flap on the back. Well, not on the back, on the top, what I'm on about. But yeah, so we do need to do a bit of maintenance. So first of all, let's get some money coming in. And yeah, a little bit of light maintenance is required. And also we need to wash the equipment. Thankfully we're using the jet washers here at the deer ship. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I'm not actually sure how much they are. Let's go grab this one here so we can get to the front. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is free or not, but... Well, it just pays for a little service and that. It's just a little one saver. And yeah, it's just a little one saver. It's not a full service and that. But yeah, especially after just three hours off work. So, yeah, that was not... I'll say it, w it was and was an ideal way of starting this series off. You know, being hard and that, slowly progressing. And yes, we got 43 grand, but we still need a drill. We still need a plow, possibly, because our fields need plowing. And... Yeah, just other bits along the way, things like a sprayer and that fertilizer sprayer. I was thinking we could look at like manure sprayers and that, look for some cheap ones. And you've got a couple of options here. For your surrey tanks and that. But then again, it's finding somewhere to source said crap. So yeah, that's 65 grand. And to be honest, I am looking at if you still got the contract available or not not the contract, the thing in the use market. I'm have to just go with that. Twenty seven meters. Not too bad, I'll say. And yeah, we can get the drill as well, funny enough. Uh, yeah, I wonder why. So yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go and buy that. And we'll buy... Dang it! Can't buy that. Oh god, I wish I bought that. We could have done a quick contract and be on our way. But perhaps in hindsight it's good because that leaves us 27 grand for a plow. So... Uh, let's look at subsoils first of all. See what options we've got. And uh, yeah, 4.2 meter plow for five and a half grand. 150 horsepower requirement. You know what? Screw it. And yeah, that's pretty much us covered. So, still can get something for 22 grand. Ooh. Wait a minute. So. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because, yeah, that was what we was looking at. Dang it, that would be a good value, but... 21 grand for that. That is 1,000 litres. Mixers, yes or no. Not sure what that does. 21 grand. 1,000 litres. 15 meters working with at 7 miles an hour. 22 grand. 21 meters. 1,300 litre capacity. No other options. Or something a bit smaller, 12 meters working width. Wide tires, yes or no standard. Got be trade board. Not too fuss on that. Decals, nope. And got your different kinds of ivory. Let's go with yellow. <laughs> You know what, I'll splurge the extra money on paint, because, yeah, I want to make it a bit distinctive in that, so. There we go, go with a nice red again. 
and bingo. So, obviously we can do a further contract in the next episode. That is on field 15. All we can do, how much would it be for a IBC tank, I wonder, so. Not on the bell, so. 3200 liters for 2000 liters. Or, wait a minute, let me compare and contrast, we've got some like bulkier purchase options here. Yeah, there are a bulk here, it keeps it all in one place, but in terms with value, so yeah, we want liquid fertilizer, do we want the Cortevas or Helm? That's the thing, when it comes to seeding that, we need to focus on like, on the seed bags now, like, what kind of seeds we get in, so yeah, for example, like a fertilizer, we've got different options, Helm or k &S. and yeah, so we've got a whole plethora of options, so that is here, so yeah, that's, that's what I think we'll leave it today, so I'll go to the store. Actually, you know what? We'll rest up, we will. Yeah, rest up. Tomorrow we'll head to the store. And yeah, we may get some more contracts. We'll be headed into September, so it'll be the last chance to harvest any wheat. And then we can start planting wheat, barley, and canola. So we need to get the harvesting in tomorrow. And I'm thinking. Once we get this wheat sorted, we'll get a mower now and a cedar, get all this converted into a grass field. So then we'll have slides over winter period. And then, yep, yeah, come the new year, get a quick buck in. And yeah, we are looking good. So if you've gone and enjoyed this Ravenport series, smash that button. And if you've got any ideas, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Father Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.